You know that I love coming here to La Verna Den. It's one of my favorite places in the city. But I want to just talk to you about kind of the legacy that you have here in New York. And I know that you're humble about it, but you have three Michelin stars. You have four stars from New York Times for the last two decades. You just got number one on La List. You are in the top three restaurants of New York City. I mean, when you started this in 1986, yes. Is this what you had your sights set on? No, Think about that guy. When, when you are in a kitchen or in a dining room, we have passion for what we do and a vision about what we want to create as an experience for our clients. Yeah. And that's where all our mental en and physical energy goes into yeah. to, to create that special moment for the guest. And you never think really about the, the rewards, although of course when they come, you're not naive. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just want to talk about this cookbook. You just came out yeah. with a new cookbook, Seafood Simple. What are we going to learn in this book? You're going to learn how to cook seafood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so simple. We grab you by the hand and we teach you step by step by step how to create simple but very sophisticated and, and yeah. delicious recipes at the same time. I know that we're going to do some cooking today. Yes, something very simple. We're going to make a black bass tartare. Okay. But Sounds in making delicious. a black bass tartare, instead of like condensing it and making it thick like a steak tartare, yeah. we're going to make it flat and I will explain to you why. Okay, great. I can't wait. So we have the black bass diced already. Yep. And you know when it's very fresh, you look at the, the flesh and it's very translucent. translucent like that. Yes. And then it's high tide, right? It yes. does kind of like, smell like high like tide. The fresh sea. sea breeze. Yeah. So we are going to put the fish here yep. or you want to slice the herbs? Oh, I can do both. Okay, so you're going to do both. I'm the chef <laughs> and you are the sous chef. My dream day is to be the sous chef for Eric Repair. This is better than most of line cooks here. <laughs> You have the job. So we leave a bit of space in between. Oh, you want it to be space. Because if you if you mix it together before, then it's too compact, it's not as nice. It doesn't taste the same. You don't taste the fish the same way. Amazing. I know we're going to sit down. You're going to show me sure. some of the other things you have going on. Sure, but absolutely. Let's take this <laughs> Every time that I eat here and the food comes, I almost don't want to eat it because it's so beautiful. We have white asparagus. Here we have a piece of striped bass, langoustine with spring vegetables. Eating here is like an out of body experience is what I, what I have found. <laughs> Cooking here is the same too. <laughs> <laughs> I know the City Harvest Gala is coming up. Yes. Tell me about the, the gala this year. So the gala is at Cipriani on 42nd on April 10, and it's a major fundraising for City Harvest. One million dollar means four million meals. It's incredible what they do, what they're able to accomplish on a daily basis. Yes, every yes. day in the five boroughs of New York City. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, you are accomplishing a lot on a daily basis here Thank as you. well. Thank you, Chef. Thank you for, for the support and for your visit and uh, friendship. Thank you.